Weather has been awful these couple of days and I'm going to a shoot right now. It's in a real pretty tall building, like 40. I think the, the location is on the 40th floor. So I'm really hoping that the weather will clear up and at least maybe maybe like clouds and blue skies, but we'll have to see. It looks pretty, pretty overcast to me right now. In 800 feet, turn right onto McKinney Street. It's actually not that cold right now, but I just want to wear it because it's going to get colder later at night. I just don't want to carry my jacket everywhere, that's why I'm wearing it. It's going to be a short walk. I'm actually very early. I'm uh, going to try to set up as fast as I can and maybe I can get some drink and a bit of food, snacks. There's an underground tunnel around here, but I don't want to take it and risk it because I might get lost instead of just looking at the building. It's easier to get around here. Okay. Now the view here is spectacular. Like check this out. All right, I better get going. Gotta start set up and then pick the best angle for this place, for this event. So I gotta. I'm using the pick design tripod today because the room is very small. It's not like super huge for me to place bigger tripod and plus i don't really need the big tripod here then for video recording i'm going to be using the canon r6 mark ii it's actually a very good b cam like i mostly use this for video now because it's, it's just overall very reliable and i use my canon r5 for photos because that has like higher megapixels in so if i really need to crop in i have more Pixels to play around with. Probably don't need an ND filter here because it's so dark. As for microphone, we're going to be using the DJI. It's very useful, small and subtle. So let's get that set up here. So we won't be using a monitor today because I was specifically told that I try to keep like things as minimal as possible. The main character of today's event actually doesn't know we're recording just photos so not sure how that's gonna work out but we'll see getting a little time lapse here with the DJI pocket 3 I'm actually very surprised how fast the weather cleared up here alrighty party's over gonna unpack I mean gonna pack up oh my god it's late you know I'm tired overall it went pretty well I say it did not get as longer as I thought it would so that's definitely good I'm gonna find myself some water after this I just didn't have the chance and or the time to actually drink water Alrighty. I think I'm gonna get a slice of cake too on the way out. Or maybe I should eat it here. I should eat the cake here. So it doesn't get messy in the car. Oh boy, such a mess. It's always like this after a photo shoot. By the way, I really would like to have the DJI microphone, the, the dead cat, to be like able to fit in the case. Which is not the case. I think the DJI Microphone 2 came out today, like literally today. 
I'm not sure if the dead cat is gonna fit inside the case. So about like two and a half hours, about three hours of capturing footage. It's actually not bad. I used up like three batteries. I thought I'm gonna use like four, but which is always good. I always put these caps together like this so I don't lose them. Well, now they're stuck. Great. Oh, there you go. I thought I was gonna use the 85 more today, but I did not. So, it's a bit surprising. Maybe I should have. But either way, I also brought these two tube lights just in case, but I ended up not using them. There are times where I thought they would work well, but I did not like really find the need to use them today, which is a good thing, I guess. But at the same time, it also takes up space in my suitcase, so good and bad, I guess. Party still going on, as you can hear. It's almost over though. After every single photo shoot. I try to come back and dump the footage right away, back them up, it doesn't matter if it's like video or photos or just everything. I never leave them on my memory card. Even though my memory card has like a ton of space, well I wouldn't say ton, but plenty enough of space for me to like keep on shooting maybe for even for like the next gig. I, I never do that. I try to like dump them out and then just format them. This way I know for sure next time, whenever I start shooting, or even before I start shooting, I can start in a clean memory card. And I have to worry about if I need to format it or not, or should I keep these in, or should I use a new memory card just in case, if I haven't backed the footage up or the photos. It's just a very good habit to get into, in my opinion, after all these years shooting. Another important thing is to actually organize the file whenever you can, before you lose memory of them. Like having them in a set of place where you can find them easily, like your fouling system, your fouling format. It's imperative, especially if you want to work faster. It's more productive that way. And here's a quick system I use all the time. It's fairly easy and anyone can do it. It's not like super complicated. I have the date, I have the, well, actually I start with the year, month, and then date. And then with like the specific project, I'm that I'm working on. Inside the project, I have capture and then footage. Capture are for photos and the footage, obviously, for videos. Then within these files, I'll have like different cameras. If I'm using like a Canon R5, R6 Mark II, or even the drone, DJI, um, the Mini 3 Pro. Now that I have the DJI Pocket 3, I also have to like, you know, make sure that they're in the same, well, in the same capture, uh, well, for DJI it will be like in the footage because mostly I use this for video. I actually never used this for photos before, but maybe I'll try that sometimes. I probably won't, honestly. But you get the point. It's, it's like a very easy organization system, but it works like a charm. And this way, you'll be able to find your footage and photos easily. But I feel like the hardest part is to get into the habit of like dumping all of your photos and footage right away after a shoot, like after every shoot, whenever you can, obviously. But try not to wait too long and then you lose that memory, like which memory card is like for which project. That's, that, that can, you know, get messy. And trust me, I've been there and done that and it wasn't a very happy ending.